Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and welcome to a new series on macros. In this series, I want to show you how to make some useful macros that I use in my day-to-day -day programming. And I don't just want to like give you them, but I want to like teach you how to make them so you can better understand how to make macros and hopefully get to a point where you're comfortable enough to have an idea and then go and make a macro for it. Now, before we get into the series, we need to go over what a macro is and what a macro does. So, well, what they do is they help you speed up a task that is uh, repetitive or, you know, give you an extra hand, like uh, switching your entire punt page. Say you have a different punch page for each song. Well, you can make a macro that you click and it'll change all your pages, all your executors and whatnot, and know you're set up for your next song. Or say uh, you, I don't know, you're making a show file and you need to clone fixtures uh, from show to show and you're doing the same process over and over again. Well, you can make a macro for that. So instead of you know taking an hour to do the entire process over and over again, you can push one button and have it all done for you. Macros save a lot of time and I recommend going out of your way and spending a couple hours just writing macros that will help you speed up your workflow and then saving them to a flash drive and take that everywhere you go. I use macros every day, my programming, and just like I said, I bring a flash drive with me and every time I plug into a console, those are the first things I put on that console is my macros. Anyways, enough talking about what a macro is. I'll see you on the next video on our first macro.